So, what's up, guys? I wanted to do this video because, yet again, there has been another goddamn school shooting. According to many outlets, but at this point I will quote, I will source CNN, um, 13 people were killed when a gunman opened fire at Oregon's Umpqua Community College in Roseburg on Thursday, forcing the nation to face yet another mass shooting. So, uh, at least another, uh, they say at least 20 people were also injured and the shooter is dead, according to Douglas County Sheriff John Hanlon, who told reporters this on Thursday. Earlier estimates had put the number of people hurt much higher. The shooter was a 20-year-old man, according to Oregon Governor Kate Brown, who ordered flags be flown at half-mast until sunset on Friday. Um, students reported hearing popping noises, much like that of a balloon uh, popping, and knew that something was not right. Um, now, uh, the shooting had occurred, from what I could gather, happened near a science building or in a science building or some case of it it's not yet clear um, what is clear is that this person uh, does appear to have probably been a student at uh, UCC and he was um, in some as you can rightfully imagine was some seemed somewhat disturbed. There are also rumors, although they cannot yet be substantiated, rumors that I'm actually looking into because I myself have a personal source um, that shows that he may have been on Reddit or some social media site boasting about possibly committing this heinous act. So there's not a lot that's very clear. There's still a lot of facts coming in. It's still even an ongoing investigation, an ongoing crisis that still has to be determined. But as of this point, it is being reported that at least that at least 10, if not 13 people, have been killed at Umpqua Community College, and that at least seven, uh, at least 20 people have been injured. This is a very serious school shooting that much like Sac City, which had much less casualties, or um, there was another one, that, uh, the Delta State University shooting in uh, Mississippi, there, you know, there's, there was much less casualties in those cases than there was at Umpqua, but nonetheless, a very, another very serious school shooting. So, before I get to anything else, let me first just also reiterate my position. This is also, as I say in every episode that deals with this, there, there, pe people tend to use this as a catalyst for wanting to uh, push the gun control adv advocacy, the, the social justice warrior, the reactionary sort of thing to do, it, you know, would be we have to get rid of all guns, we have to lower magazine clips, we have to do this, we have to do that. And I'm personally not an advocate of that. But what I do advocate is the necessity for control to not re overreact, not to bring, even though it's hard, not to bring emotion, too much emotion into this, you know, as us that are not affected by it, and actually let the, this all pan out simmer down and then think about and then actually think about things logically and rationally and personally on my belief I think the rational logical thing to do as I, I ponder this idea more and more especially myself as a Marxist I look at it this way I believe that the proletariat ought to be armed but the proletariat ought to be sound minded and in this case I personally believe that uh, that we should have background checks that personally are that are legitimate uh, extend the, the waiting period time during which time that person needs to also be mandated to have a psych evaluation or, and or examination to prove that they are sound minded and if they are allowed to be uh, to part they should be mandated to participate in a gun safety training course and handling course because 
th that I think personally will actually make a lot bit more of a difference. But I don't think that getting rid of magazine clips or getting rid of certain guns is going to solve a situation. Quite the contrary, I think it's going to exacerbate a situation and definitely cause more of a demand on the black market. And that's something that will actually increase violence than anything else. Not only that, people have a right to own weapons. I just personally believe they need to be sound-minded. I believe in the the armed proletariat idea of Marxism. Now, obviously, that can be argued by by liberals and other social justice warriors, the uh, you know all the way around the bush. But you know, I'm not ashamed, nor am I sorry to have my the views that I do. But what I am ashamed of is that we continue to do nothing, though, and continue to let shit like this happen. That's my personal position. And don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to say that this is not... I'm not trying to take away from the idea that this was not a... that this was not a heinous act and that violence like this should not somehow um, be grounds for us to, you know, at least put into law some sort of reform to, you know, at least try to curb some form of violence. But the truth is, as much as we hate to hear it, we're never going to fully eradicate violence. Not gun violence, not sexual violence, not anything. The, the crimes like this will continue to occur. And with the continuing fall of capitalism, it's probably going to get worse. And so we can really only... It's really one of those things where where the best we can do right now is hope for some is hope for at least a tiny little law to at least try to mend some really broken fences so but ultimately this shouldn't even be about having to explain my position it shouldn't even be about having to you know, talk about all this the focus of this video was and is about the Umpqua Community College shooting. And first of all, let me just state that I have family that lives in Oregon, bunches of family. I personally have a very strong connection with the city of Roseburg. It's basically the gateway to much of my other family. I tend to go up, I tend to stay in Roseburg whenever I'm passing through Oregon. And so Roseburg to me has a, you know, has a very personal meaning. And it's really a serene, peaceful, and quiet little city, but and that doesn't have a whole lot of violence, doesn't have a whole lot of big crime. And today, that peace, that serenity, that trust that the people have in their community was broken. So my heart goes out to the victims to the students and staff, and to the city of Roseburg, and to all the families out there tonight that are worried, that are suffering, that are mourning, my heart goes out to you. My prayers go out to you. My heart, my solidarity is with you, with the people of Umquas Community College, and with the city of Roseburg, Oregon. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Press on, Roseburg. You never really can fix my heart.